Okay, so what I did was I did a bit of research on the internet and uh, as I stated in previous videos, I had a difficulty with rodents in the attic. I've tried to seal the attic, etc, etc. And I came across a number of videos which outlined using plaster of Paris powder, mixing it with something that the furry friends enjoy. And in this instance, I mixed it with protein powder uh, chocolate flavor i've left it up there for the past i would say maybe nine months now and one of the concerns i had was that plaster of paris powder upon mixing with the air can solidify and some argue that this renders the effectiveness of plaster of paris in the as a poison for rodents pests renders the effectiveness of it uh, useless in some regards now i have noticed here that there has been a bit of an old dining experience from my furry friends and interestingly there hasn't been any activity in the attic now for the past several months now it's usually around the time of september onwards when the weather gets cold here where i live that i'll hear activity in the attic but it seems that it's now november and i haven't heard any activity in the attic so it may be the case that this plaster of paris does work in mix one for one with the powder I've taken it down and what I'm going to do is I've replaced it with another concoction which would be a mixture of chocolate powder the same chocolate powder with baking soda so I mixed three parts baking soda to one part chocolate powder and Again, I've done a bit of research on the internet. I haven't seen much. There are some that state that it does not work. And then there was one particular video which showed that it did work, which is an experiment uh, for a rat. So there we are. The saga continues. The journey continues for me in relation to pest control that is non-toxic to 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 others uh only to the furry friends and thank you for watching